Hi guys, it's been a while that I made a video um, and um, uh, the reason is that I want to start focusing on other stuff. Um, uh, I think I can create a lot more value in a different way. Um, but I do want to share some final thoughts uh, on uh, investing uh, because I did learn a lot uh, as the bear market has continued uh, to uh, beat down on uh, my portfolio. Um, it does um, change one's mind. Uh, and uh, that has happened also during this bear market for me. Uh, and so um, I've realized that, that I did make big mistakes again uh, at the uh, during the bull market in 2017, uh, but I didn't realize it at the time. Uh, but I and now I, I actually didn't realize it all, a couple months uh, back yet. But today I do realize it. Um, so my strategy was to um, uh, to to go um, long. Um, uh, I uh, I bought Bitcoin Cash and Byteball in the middle of 2017 um, uh, with the intent to buy and hold forever. Um, and uh, I did have some other coins and um, mm, I was planning to sell those uh, at the top which I did uh, in January uh, December uh, in January 2018 um, uh, but um, that was not enough like uh, I think I went about to a 70% exposure or so uh, crypto in the middle of 2017 uh, I had gone to a minority exposure in the middle of 2017 um, after having a majority exposure since 2015 uh, when Bitcoin went down to $200 uh, then I went 80% into a crypto uh, shared that also uh, and then uh, stayed invested till the middle of 2017 um, but did diversify uh, on the way up uh, away uh, profits uh, um, and uh, but I went to minority exposure in the middle of 2017 when Bitcoin was only around uh, uh, had gone to three thousand dollars correct to two thousand um, dollars and was back uh, at two thousand two hundred dollars or so actually it was two thousand eight hundred dollars but and back to thousand eight hundred dollars then at around two thousand two hundred dollars I thought that the bubble was finished and uh, and I went to minority exposure crypto I was wrong there uh, and, uh, and and Bitcoin continued to go up, uh, broke the 2,800 uh, again, and went to uh, $5,000. And then I decided to go to a majority crypto again, and and, and went from I was it 30 percent exposure or so uh, to 60 percent exposure or so, something like that. Uh, and then uh, the bubble continued. Of course, I never invested in Bitcoin. I always invest in altcoins eh? since uh, early 2017. Uh, as still today, uh, so basically I went uh, out of alts and then back into alts a couple months later. Uh, that was not that bad of a call because uh, in the meantime Bitcoin did go up from that three thousand to five thousand US dollars, but but alts um, uh, actually did not uh, during that summer of 2017. But uh, I went to a majority crypto then again and um, and indeed uh, it continued to go up uh, by the end of 2017. Uh, Bitcoin went from 5,000 to 20,000. Um, but uh, what I did then, uh, my exposure was then from 60-70% went up to about 90-95% and I brought it down to about 75% uh, at, the, at the top because those were like the coins I could sell. All the rest of my portfolio consists of Bitcoin, uh, cash and uh, Byteball. Uh, so at the peak of the market when uh, the market cap of all cryptos was around 800 billion. I was exposed still about 75% to crypto that I didn't sell. I went from 95% to 75% or so, but uh, that was um, not the right call. Huh? But if you look back at my videos, uh, I justified it by saying that, yes, I pledged to never sell this, so I won't. But in reality, actually, I did have a price target there, and I said, like, if they would reach all-time highs versus Bitcoin, I would break that promise to buy and hold and I would sell Bitcoin Cash and Byteball. But none of these two coins reached new all-time highs at the end of the bubble, which was not within my expectation. Normally, they should reach all-time highs at the end 
of the bubble, not versus fiat, which they did, of course, but also versus Bitcoin uh, BTC, which they did not. So, so that due to that, I never came to selling that uh, any of that position, um, and also like in general, like uh, uh, I, I made a mistake again, expecting prices to go higher. Huh? Um, I think around 750 billion or so. I thought yes, it would break the one trillion uh, mark for a couple of days. I thought that would happen. It never happened. The top was 800 billion. Um, so. So my expect uh, 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 the combination of these two made that I didn't uh, sell. Uh, that, I, that I was still exposed 75% at the top, and, and and so I made huge losses during this bear market, and, and my total portfolio went down uh, about 80%. Huh? Uh, so 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 that's a serious uh, loss, uh, and that's uh, what has changed my mind today, um, uh, because. Um, uh, yeah, I shouldn't have done it that way. And where did I make the mistake? Actually, um, I made the mistake when I bought the cryptos in the middle of 2017, when I bought Bitcoin Cash at $300 and, and when I bought uh, Byball at $200 Gbyte, um, I, I bought it uh, with the intent to buy and hold forever. Uh, but that was wrong because we, the timing was off. We were already in the middle of 2017. And so the bubble had already been going on for two and a half years. So you should never buy coins when the bubble has already been going on for a couple of years with the intent to buy and hold forever. That's, that was wrong. If I would have done that at the beginning of the bubble in 2015, yes, then you can buy coins with the intent to buy and hold forever and, and, and not follow price and, and, and focus on building businesses. But if you buy coins by the end of the bubble or, or the middle of the bubble, that's a very dangerous strategy. As for example, I bought uh, Bitcoin Cash at $300. Uh, I thought that was cheap, but actually today uh, uh, it's, it's $150. Uh, so it, it, it went up from $300 to $4,000. But today it went even below my buy-in price of $300. It went to, uh, it's now $150 or so. Um, but, but so... Um, uh, and the same for Bible, I bought it at $200, uh, it went up indeed to $1,000, but it collapsed to $30 today. So uh, huge losses on these positions, um, and, uh, and all because of the timing, because Bible actually started at $10 eh? uh, in, the, in the beginning of 2017. If I would have bought then a lot for a buy and hold forever, yes, that would have been smart uh, when it just came out. but. Uh, so, so, so yeah, it's all about timing in investing. And so for me, uh, it means that, uh, yes, I still believe the buy and hold uh, strategy is the best, especially today where we are clearly uh, in a, a bear market and, uh, uh, and, 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 and a real bear market here. And, uh, and, um, and, 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 and yeah, we will reach prices that, uh, will never be seen again, uh, for most coins. Uh, so today or I still expect uh, that the probability is indeed highest that we, we haven't seen the bottom yet. And so um, I think that um, mm, 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 by the middle of 2019, we will see the bottom. Uh, and if you buy then or later or, or today, because we're not far from bottom prices, I do think like for Bitcoin, I think bottom will only be 2,500 US dollars, maybe 1,900 US dollars, but not lower. Uh, the odds for that are very low, I think. For Bitcoin Cash, I, I actually think, and for Ethereum, that we might see only a double bottom and that we already sell the bottom in fiat prices. Uh, and so, and so, um, yes, I think uh, uh, my plan is to indeed uh, stick with the buy and hold strategy uh, forever uh, because it allows to, 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 build, to focus on building business instead of focus on, on price and, and diversifying and locking in profits way too soon. That's what mo the mistake most investors make uh, and that I made also again in the previous bull market. Um, and that, that, that's why buy and hold is really a great uh, strategy forever um, and, and certainly today. So that's a great strategy. But um, I, 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 I do am planning to um, also keep an eye on price uh, while I do the buy and hold uh, forever. And actually, no, I don't think the buy and hold forever is a good strategy. The buy and hold is a very good strategy. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you do have to keep an eye on price. And indeed, if, if the market is uh, highly overvalued, uh, 
uh, you should go to a minority allocation in crypto. I should have done that. I should not have been at 75% there. I should have gone down to 40% at least a minority exposure because it's clearly overvalued. Sure, I thought the top was not in. It would go higher, but this is like very hard to predict and you're usually always wrong in this. Uh, you expect to go higher, but the top was reached already. It's the same in the bear market. You expect to go lower, but the bottom was reached already. This could certainly be the case today also. And so today, I think it should be a majority exposure crypto already, even though even when you expect price to go lower uh, and you give that a high probability, it's clearly already seriously undervalued. So uh, a majority exposure crypto is the wise move here. Um, but... Um, uh, 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 so, 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 and that's always uh, important, and I will, I will, I will continue to do. That's my plan. I will continue to act also as an investor and to respect these rules, these simple rules that when it's clearly overvalued, that you go to a minority exposure, and when it's clearly undervalued, highly undervalued, or highly overvalued, highly undervalued, that you go to a majority exposure. This is a very, very wise uh, thing to do, and I will continue to do that in the future, that's my plan. But at the same time, I really don't want to waste so much time anymore in following prices because it really, um, uh, it really uh, uh, takes so much time and you can't, um, you can't do much else. Uh, so, so, so yeah, um, work more efficiently and, um, well, we know that the bull market, once it starts, will take probably four to five years, so the first three years don't have to look at prices at all, um, but I will continue to keep an eye on the Trollo chart, or now it's Owen Wonder who uh, keeps track of that, the total market cap of all cryptos uh, compared to its uh, historical growth rate, um, and, uh, and that will show clearly if you're in highly overvalued territory or not. Uh, and it shows today clearly that we are in highly undervalued territory. Huh? Um, I didn't look at uh, the numbers, but we are at about uh, more than minus 50% undervaluation that is high, high undervalued, highly undervalued. So, so it certainly is um, uh, justified to go to majority exposure crypto today. Um, uh, so that's the most important thing that I want to share. Um, Look at the beautiful, beautiful baby there. Hi, hey, Michael. <laughs> Bye, guys. You want to say something, baby? To the viewers? I need to say hi to you. Uh -huh. Have a nice day. Yes, have a nice day.